Uh, hello everybody, this is Stan again from Puerto Vallarta, Masturbator Sport Fishing Tackle uh, from beautiful downtown Marina Vallarta. Maybe you can see some of it behind us. I, uh, we had a hurricane go by us here just a day or two ago, so some of the aftermath has been a little bit of rain. It's been uh, kind of nice actually. Sleeping with the windows open, no air conditioning in Puerto Vallarta in August, that's uh, very nice actually. So anyway, we're here to talk about fishing. So, uh, tuna, we had a few bad days for tuna last week. For about three or four days, you couldn't get a strike for nothing. And uh, then all of a sudden, we started seeing them out there around 60, 120, and I have a friend that hit one, he boated one about 250 pounds. So, you know, it's kind of interesting out there. Uh, the water temperature has been going up, so, you know, there's a good chance soon tuna are sounding down there right now, which that basically means they, they go deep. They go about 130, 150, 170 feet deep. You have to have down riggers out there. And, uh, but they find your bait, no problem. So they're, they're still out there. Uh, it's kind of up and down. We had some news about El Banco this week. They have some tuna out that way and uh, they've been running about 70 pounds and they got a lot of spinner dolphin out that way too. So, you know, most of the time you run into spinners, you're gonna have some, uh, you know, they got their buddies with them. They're about 40 pound football tuna. They're, they're all over the place. Uh, as well as that goes, we still got black marlin. We've still seen them around 500 pounds. We got black marlin, we got blue marlin, same range. And sailfish are about six miles north of the rock right there at Corbettania. We've got rooster fish moving in. They're pretty good size. I, I've got some here in the report, so you'll see in the written part, you'll see some pictures of some rooster fish in the area. I haven't seen those for a long time, but um, got Dorado. We got a lot of Dorado out there. They're all small. You know, the numbers are coming back, but they're, they're, they're all small right now. So another year from now, we should have a real nice batch of Dorado out that way. Uh, if you catch a bunch of them, you know, keep one for dinner, but throw the rest back, especially the females, okay? Do, do us all a favor. Do yourself a favor. So, uh, but Dorado's abundant down here right now. Uh, the water temperatures, you know, they're, they're up there around 90 degrees right now, which means inside the bay, you're, you know, inside the bay fishing right now is summertime, you know, this is, what, this is when, the, when the big fish are happening. So in the bay, you got some Jack Ravels. You know, you're seeing some schnook around the river mouth if they don't have a, a long line, not the long line guys, the gill net type guys over there. But you got schnook around the river mouth. Uh, you got Bonita, Skipjack tuna in the bay, over by Yalapa, you've always got a chance to hit 40 pound, 30, 40 pound tuna over that way. But uh, you have to remember, you have to use live bait. It's not like there's a bite over there. You have to get some sardines from the water and draw them up and then and you got a shot at them. But they're always over there for willing to put the work in. Cabo Corrientes has been where they've been seeing the rooster fish. Good sized rooster fish out there, most of them over 20 pounds. I've seen some around 45, 55 pounds. So that's a good sized rooster fish. And uh, things are just gonna continue to get better from this point forward. We're moving into high season of fishing. A lot of people think high season is when all the fishing is good here, but it's really not. You know, you need warm water, warm temperatures. The minute that all happens, of course, everything, you know, gets a little bit uh, more interesting. October, once we get around the 1st of October, my reservations are off the hook. You know, we're looking at some of the best fishing of the season. But, you know, right now, depending on how things go, you can still come out there and catch it kind of early. There's nobody at the fishing grounds. You can have the whole thing to yourself out there. It's a beautiful thing. Um, boat prices are still the same. Gas prices are still the same. Everything's pretty much the same right now. So, but the bottom line is fishing is really good out here. You're gonna catch fish. Eight hours by Punta de Mita. You know, that one, that one kind of goes back and forth. You never really know what's going on with Punta de Mita. We've had some rain here, so there should be a couple of mature trash lines out there, which means you always find Dorado around a uh, trash line or around uh, some debris out there. So you can, pr you can pretty much kill it if you're out there doing something like that. But, you know, the fact of the matter is you got to get down here. You got to get on the water to have any kind of fun. And uh, just about as good as it's going to be is that the season is right on time. It's getting better every day. And, and uh, hey, you know, there's not just me. There's a lot of people kind of down here you can go fishing with. So you can do some, uh, if you guys want to do some beach, uh, kind of mission surfing with. If you want to uh, do some uh, surf fishing, we've got some poles now, you know, it's uh, 500 pesos a day, 25 bucks. And uh, we'll give you a few jigs and things like this. You can take it off on the beach, uh, no fishing license required. Uh, just make sure there's not people in the water where you're casting your fly. <laughs> yes, that's kind of important to remember. And uh, well, for about that, that's, that's, that's about it for now. So uh, these underground fishing reports are not fancy, I know. You know, they're not big productions or anything like that. But, oh, by the way, Trace Marias. Trace Marias are yeah, happening right now. Tuna are, are coming on. At this time of year, during the summertime, the Trace Marias, you can get fish 12, 15, 16 miles outside of 
the islands, no problem. You know, there's fish all over the place out there, especially tuna. Come winter time, you gotta come in close to those islands. That's where the restrictions and the regulations come in. So I'm kind of wondering how that's gonna affect the uh, wintertime boys that come down here. Uh, thing to remember, the, the, the Trace Marie Islands, especially Madre Island, that's, that's uh, believe it or not, that's on the same level as the Galapagos Islands. They have coral out there that you won't find anywhere else. They have several different species of fish, small fish, coral fish, but they're, but, but they're out there. You know, and that, that whole thing underwater is just, uh, it's just a natural wonderland. So uh, you can understand why they're trying to keep people away from it. So we'll have to see what happens with the boats from that. Sorry, I hope this was a little too windy, but uh, this is Stan again from Master Bear Sport Fishing Tackle saying uh, don't forget to fish your fish. We'll see you later. Adios.